Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Into the Gungeon. We are going to jump in this time as the Swindler. Uh, I also did grab my little items and I got this thing. I'll be honest, I'm not really sure what it does. Um, it seems to do something with increasing our damage. I, 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 I don't know. We're going to figure it out. It says um, hold use to select. Not exactly sure what my use button is, so I'm going to figure that out. Um, controls... Key bindings. I'm not quite sure what counts as use. Interact is... Okay. This isn't controller setup. Um... Hmm. Is it just X then, I guess? Or is use a different button? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's just jump into our run and see what happens. I do want to try and get a, uh, a win this time. Okay, so we've been stuck on Ouroboros 2 for ages, and I feel it's about time we tried for a win. I've not I've not really been trying super hard to get wins recently, to be honest. And, I don't know, I feel like I should be. I, I know that I need to get a Lich Kill win in order for it to increase the Ouroboros, and I've been going to the Dragon or dying. Um, but we'll try it out. But yeah, so we got this thing. We have minus one keys now. Uh, it's been updated to visually show minus one keys. So... If I use this thing, it... Okay, and I shoot through it to modify my bullets, I see. Um, and... Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how I changed the mode, I'll be honest. I don't know. That's something we're going to have to figure out as we go. But, this guy, this one, Swimbler Boy, we've seen him before. He is very, very good. Um, money, money, money is all this man thinks of. It uh, also seems to start with quite a bit of money as well, actually. I didn't realise he started with so much. So, now that it's charged, can I change over the mode? Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. I honestly have no idea. Oh, that was such a bad hit. Oh, that was even a worse hit. I'm a failure. I am a failure. What the hell were all them hits about, Turtle? You fool. Yeah, I, I honestly have no idea how to switch the nerds on this thing. I don't know what use is. Like, is it R1? Do I switch it before or after having used the item? Let me let me give it another read. Um. Uh, enchanting each individual bullet. What's time consuming? This eye can project enchantment rings to upgrade bullets on the fly, literally. Um, three night loops on bullets, successful hit. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know. Did it say hold use, maybe? Hold use to select. Ah, okay, I see, I see. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Right. Okay, so. Um, red increases damage and weight. Purple improves durability. I'm guessing that means they bounce. Yellow um, shatters bullets and loops bullets a successful hit. So let's go with yellow for now. Because I think yellow probably means it splits my bullets up in, like, uh, into multiple shots, which I really like the sound of. Oh. My commentary is going to be a little bit off here because I've just eaten and I've got a tiny bit of what I ate stuck behind one of my teeth. And it's really, 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 really distracting. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll be using yellow for the remainder of the run, I think. I'm going to try them all out, but yellow is probably the one I'm going to use. Right. So now we'll go with purple. Purple is improved durability, right? Crack that open. We got flight. Okay. Pretty happy with flight. S wings don't quite stay on attached to this fat piggy's body, but I won't judge. I won't judge. Oh, he's tiny. Look at him. Right, so let's try this. Actually, I was going to say let's try this out, but this guy's got like very little health left. Not bother with that. It charges up reasonably quick as well. Yeah, so this is bouncy. I thought it would be. Improved durability. 
makes sense. Right, and then this, uh, we want to do blue next. So we've done, we've done purple, we've done yellow, we've done red, and blue. Doesn't it say green on this? It says green. That's blue. That's definitely blue. I was like, well, it's, it's kind of more of a cyan, but it's definitely closer to blue than it is to green. We'll see what that one does as well. I'm not quite sure what that one will entail. Oh, bugger. That was close. These guys can still drop uh, the money bags, can't they? And money itself. Yeah, let's try this out. Okay, so this one does like some follow-up shots. Interesting. I, I, I still think yellow is by far going to be my favorite. Increasing the amount of shots I fire is always my preferred, me preferred method. Um, I'll open this up, why not? Pretty good stuff. Wow. Just hit myself immediately there. Didn't make any effort whatsoever to not get hit. That is, that is kind of pathetic. Dude. Could you play a better? I'm like, hey, hey guys, this time I'm going to go for the win. And I'm like, eh, do you know what? No, I'm going to actually get myself hit like a ridiculous amount. Easy. Wasn't even a hard fight. You know what? This gun's pretty good for now if we're, uh... Pretty good for now if we're going to be keeping that armor around. We'll try it out. Let's just go to the normal path here. I'm not looking for oubliette or anything here. Although I think I could afford it. It's only 20 pair lock. I probably should have gone for it, to be honest. But oh well. It's past that point now. Past that point now. But yeah, Piggy Boy, not doing great as him so far. Luckily, he has a lot of leeway. Um, I feel like... I've not been punished too heavily for my mistakes th thus far. I've still managed to come away with a good old nice amount of money, 69. I always forget how to do this room. Eh. Easy. Does this normally have piercing? I can't remember. Either way, while we've got armor, this thing is very, very good. Very good range, very good damage, very good bullet velocity. It's all round camp schmacking. Good old money bag there. We have flight, so this is going to be a free, uh, very good chest. Have a shot, piggy. Don't be so rude to me. How dare you? Good. I love the fact that flight just lets you break the hell out of this. So good. Beautiful. Ah, no black chest, sadly, though. Still, red chest is pretty good. We got the ore gun. My heart will go on. I can't remember how good this thing is. I imagine it's pretty good, considering. A two-round burst, like, heartbeat-style attack, which I quite like. Thematically, that's pretty cool. Um, Panic pendant? I don't think we need that. Okay, mini boss time, I think, maybe? And then uh, use our use our active item to just absolutely shred this boy. Yeah, <laughs> that worked out quite well. When I said shred, I didn't expect it to be quite so, quite so crazy, but I'm glad it was. Yeah, this gun is good. I mean, it's, it's got very low ammo, um, but it's doing pretty well so far, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. It's killing most things in two bursts. Uh, fortune cookie? Ah, oh, it's a bloody active. God damn it. Can't trade it for barter? No, I can't. Whoopsie, fortune cookie. There ain't no way I'm taking you. 
Was that a green chest as well? I don't even know what quality chest that was. Okay. Keep on pushing on. <clears throat> That's so insane with this. I love that. Like I said, it recharges so fast as well. Two-shotting that guy is pretty awesome. Needs to be a little bit closer to one-shot these guys, though. Okay. Beautiful. And we're getting our health back slowly but surely as well, which is rather nice, I suppose. I would like some ammo for this for the boss, but I'm not going to fret. I do have all the... Like, the AC-15 is pretty decent for the boss regardless, so... I'm not going to worry about that too much, especially if we pair it with the yellow pendant thing you ever going to call that. Yeah. Rooms are getting shredded. Yeah, I really like this weapon. Design-wise, like, strength-wise, for an A-tier gun, it seems pretty on par. Obviously, the ammo is low. Can you move out the way, please? The ammo is low, but kind of justifi justifiably so. The winger, is this a, is this a thingy um, TF2 reference? Yes, it is. Um, doesn't make you fly, but can bring you close to it. Not exactly sure what that means. Does it give any more info about what that might mean? Or is it just a tagline? Um, a favourite choice in the arsenal requires getting close to people. It can give you the edge just in case battles are a bit too close, or if you're... Just bad at jumping over pits. Maybe it's an extended dodge roll that I'm just not quite seeing. I can't quite tell, I'll be honest. Gun muncher, not really something I'm that interested in. Right, so let's start off with the organ and then move over to the AC-15 when we need it. Really, really good boss for this setup. Again, this thing's piercing, so it kind of shreds this guy. Oh, that was a super bad place to put that. Whoops. We got him, though. We got him. Ooh, oiled cylinder as well for that extra spicy reload. I like it. Right. Things are going well. Things are going well. I think we just move on with a good bit, a good bunch of money in our pocket. And please, please give me some shops that are actually fucking valuable. I despise how just terrible the shops are in this game. You either don't get any NPCs or, like, very few. Or the Bello shop has nothing in it slash nothing of interest every single time. I mean, I do realise I have the bar, I think, to reroll, but the last few times I've used it, it's been completely bugged and just taken away all my money, and I don't want to risk it again. <laughs> if it has been fixed, please correct me, but for right now, I'm not going to mess with it, because I don't want to lose all my money. Um, But yeah, like, the shops are just so pathetic most of the time, like... We've only had one item available in the shops we've seen thus far, and it wasn't a great item either. And it's just like, ugh, why game? Why are you going to make me do this? Can't you just give me an NPC where I can buy some actually interesting things for my run, please? No, Jamdrat. I will not have you in this town messing me up. Of course, I could be using Casey right now, but... I don't really see the need for KC when we've got something like the AC-15. I'd rather try and keep my armor and use this. Especially when it's got piercing. Makes it all the better. That was pretty good. Don't even know what's over there. Just shooting it through the yellow thing and hoping for the best, and it it actually worked out really well. Right, none of you left. Okay, we're, we're kind of stomping through the rooms, to be honest. Like I said, we have a really good setup. There's probably a good room for this, to be honest. 
Holy hell. Give me that bag. Give me that bag. Yes. Don't don't think I need it. <laughs> it's, it's just more of it more of the case that it's kind of like insurance for when we eventually do get hit. I'm not planning on getting hit a whole heap hell of a lot, but we will get hit. So I need a little bit of insurance for when I do. A little bit of money to keep me going. I'm not sure if you lose money as a percent though with this guy. I think you do. Something else left? Oh, hello. Okay, making our way to our shop. Give me some ammo, please. Ammo would be lovely. Shotgun guy is going to appear here, appear here, so let's uh, just get this ready. Get you in line. The knockback is like the best part. God damn. The force of all these shots from the AC-15, it just absolutely launches enemies. Knockback's a funny thing in uh, Gungeon. There's not like too many guns that use it as like an integral part of the gun. But there is a few, and it's it's kind of an interesting mechanic. I think a lot of rooms have pits that make it good. Like, obviously the T-shirt cannon is the main one that comes to mind when you think about it like that. I'll take the coupon, I guess. 15% off. Um, This is decent, I guess. It's not very amazing, but... Ah, not touching... Not touching this. It's cool, but the sound effects thing is broken. Oh, uh, also, someone mentioned that apparently in my audio settings, I have it. I have my speaker settings. No, not speaker settings. Um, where was it? They mentioned something about my settings being like on stereo or something. I don't know where exactly I view that. I don't see why it'd be in video. No, it just says speaker setup, that's it. I don't know where that setting is. If you, if you are watching and you remember where it is, let me know. Apparently there's a setting that I have different and that could be potentially what's causing the audio issues. Because um, the developers just can't figure out why my audio on certain things is much louder than their own. And I'll be honest, I have no idea either. Um, one second. Right righty ho. Sorry about that, let's continue on. Uh, are we doing boss yet? No, we're not. No. Let's try and do a few more things first. We've still got a bit of ammo. Still no organ ammo, though. I was really hoping we'd get ammo for that. Oh, hello, hello. The double sack. Yeah, I was really hoping we'd get some ammo for that before the boss, but so far, not so good. I'll try and use the winger for a bit, maybe. It seems reasonably good. That was very bad. The uh, the dodge roll, of course, with the winger, very extended, wasn't ready for it, went straight into the mushroom. But Good. I think even with the, the low ammo on this thing, I should be set for the boss when I uh, use the yellow boy. We'll see, we'll see. I wonder what happens if you use... Um, Terrible ammo bag. Terrible ammo bag is kind of good. Um, so an idea that I actually had. Killing enemy has a chance to reduce the ammo of the currently held gun, but ammo drops are increased. Yeah. So we use more ammo in general, but we can get more ammo drops. Life cube. Rip pea shooter is one of the things you can tell. Life cube's pretty good, right? Like the life orb. Yeah, cool. Um, and we'll take that as well. Why not? We're up to eight curse now. But yeah, in general, we use more ammo, but we should find a lot more ammo drops. Which I quite like. Um. Oh, it actually turns my gun into the life orb, weirdly. I hope our chest sends are being good. Kind of a tricky room, this, I'll be honest. Kind of got to kill these guys before debuffing them. Okay, he moved good. Get all out of ammo in this bad boy. 
Fortunately, we're down to the wing. I just got to remember about that dodge roll being a bit more speedy. That could screw me over if I'm not careful. Sadly, that bag is lost to the ether. There you go. There's some ammo. Thank you. And here we've got ourselves. Oh, hello. The HM Auto Cannon. Quite beefy. Now, unfortunately, quite hard for us to take advantage of on a fight like this. Yes, yeah, there's no way I wasn't getting hit there. Does it make our shots explosive too? Dude, this is a kind of a hard fight with this guy being jammed. Okay. Unfortunately got hit there. Not awful, not great. Hey, it's my turtle. It's my turtle birdie. Keep it going. I'm ignoring the blue portals, by the way, just because I've kind of seen everything that that has to offer, and I don't want to reduce my health right now. So, if more items get added to that pool eventually, then I'll start taking a look at them more often, but there's only like 10 so far, and I've kind of seen them all. And some runs, they're a bit more sort of my style. Other runs, it's whatever. good thing about this is with the enemies being jammed, they have higher HP, and the life cube is based on enemies, the, like the last enemy's killed total HP for what damage it does to the rest of the room. So if we kill a jammed enemy first, we're able to do a lot more damage to non-jammed enemies. Oh, what the fuck hit me? What the fuck? What was that? What did I miss there? I definitely missed something. Wasn't nothing, but slightly confused by it, I'll admit. No, my poor turtle buddies. Don't die. Ah, oh, out of ammo with this thing again. Then. Use the AC-15 again for a bit. Oh! Thank God I have flight there, because I just rolled directly into that pit. Oh, I didn't even realize there was one of you up here. I thought those little guys had some new attacks. Getting very confused. Come on, turtles. Well, I said turtles. There is two. They are turtly enough for the turtle club. reasonably well, and then back for some more ammo. Oh, but you can definitely see we're getting more ammo drops now. Ooh, hello, we got the USB gun. Definitely a fun weapon. Don't know if it's been updated yet, but there is an update inbound for this thing, I think. Or at least a synergy coming that'll change things with it. Um, That's pretty good, right? I can't remember exactly what it does. I think it's each time we fill our gun, it increases its... Uh, fill our gun's ammo, increases its damage or something. Which is really, really, really good for... Um... Come on now. Don't be like that. Nah, this, this gun is not it for this room. What in the fuck? That was kind of spooky. Boom. Oh, I didn't kill any of them. What the hell? Out of ammo again. And I got hit there. And I got hit again. I've lost all my money. Oh, my fucking life. God damn it. Ugh. 
God damn. Am I like, would have been fun. But I just got absolutely shit on. Now it's time to go Hellful Either and just use Casey. <laughs> Casey's kind of an interesting one, actually, because it automatically uses the Life Orb when I get a kill. It's actually kind of cool. I think I kind of like that. And here's your little key shit. I could do some, like, mass damage with that. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. More key money. Okay, so we have enough for the ammo light now. We should take it. Let me just check that it does what, it, what I think it does. Yeah. Only 5%, but with increased ammo drops, it's actually pretty good. Should work out quite nicely. Yeah, this is this is cool. Really, you hit one of those bullets. Did you have to? I might just carry on using the Casey for now, you know. Definitely a risky tactic. I realize the Casey isn't the safest of weapons. My health isn't the greatest right now, but that room kind of pissed me off, so. Through my own idiot idiocy, by the way. No, no, no one's fault my own, but still. I'm allowed to be annoyed. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Do you know how I said I was going to go for a win this time around? That, uh, that whole plan might be, uh, on ice for now. More ammo. I'm, like, full on everything. And we got this as well. Oh, what the hell? This is interesting. I think this isn't something I've used before. Superstar. Single word pump action shotgun used by the children of the sun during their duels over their territory. Reloads one shell at a time, can fire loaded bullets to interrupt. Reload. Ooh. Interesting. Ah, he's holding my shells. How dare you? Seems like a decent shotgun. I like the, I'm pretty sure this is once, uh, not once went to the breach, um, knife to a gunfight. Yeah, I, I, knife to a gunfight adds a few interesting shotguns like this. I quite like them. Very bad hit. Get away from me. Get away from me. Okay, push up. Hope for the best. Yeah, that did fine. Not great, it did fine. Um, ammo, we're, we're kind of sitting pretty with ammo right now. I should maybe use my, my guns a little, uh, a little bit more now that we have the ammo. We're kind of using Casey like a madman. It's really not necessary. It ain't necessary at all. We are burning through ammo with this thing, though, and with the, uh, the terrible ammo bag. We're, like, losing a good amount of ammo per shot, like, more than we should be, sort of thing. Oh, I don't have enough for that shit. Lost so much money getting hit. I just want to see how this works. That's kind of cool. Kind of works how I expected it, I guess.
boss went pretty well. <laughs> wow. Okay. All righty then. Heroin isn't really something I'm into, I'll be honest. And we move on. <sighs> and we move on. See, this is the problem now. In a run like this, do I want to gamble on going for boss rush, or not boss rush, uh, hell? Or do I want to just try and take the win after the dragon? Because it feels more like a dragon run. Feels like a run that I should just take the win. But at the same time, I guess I should just try the Lich. We'll see if I even make it first, because I've not been playing particularly well, so we, we, we don't really know, do we? I really like this interaction this has got with the light team. Where it, like, I kill an enemy and then it immediately... How did that not hit? It immediately does extra damage. How does that not kill you? Wow. Back here, spider boy. Move along here. Try not to lose too much money in the process of all of this, because that is... How did that miss? More ammo. Again, we're kind of fine on ammo right now. Guess we can just leave it there for later. Dude, the eyes screwed me last time. When will I learn? That's a good bit of money there. Don't think I want to take anything from a care shop right now. I do want to play around with the care shop a little more, though. There's still some items I haven't tried from that shop. But it has some interesting things on offer, but I feel like it's one of those things that I kind of probably want to take those early in a run before I have a lot to risk than I do late in a run. Especially when it's a late in a run when the run's not going so hot. Although I suppose the risk could t potentially save me, so I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but at the minute, I am full on invested in Casey. Sorry, Turtles. I used you as bait there. We've got ammo lying around for days. Ooh, managed to get hit there somehow. Probably because I got hit. Dude, the Casey hitbox is so jank sometimes. Just do what I intend you to do, Casey, and everything will be okay. Look at that, it killed, like, everything. Don't even have to press reload. Just also reloads. Good to go. We've only got 45, but I'm going to take this anyways. Sadly, not happy with that at all. I do not care about dodge increases. People have heard me speak about this way too much. There you go. I guess I should take this, to be honest, considering I'm not losing anything for taking it. It still annoys me how it, like, comes into formation and it's off-centered on the pedestal. <laughs> it has this, like, cool little animation and it's just off-center. We will see if we can beat the dragon. What on earth is going on with this room? Oh, God. Not a fan of that room. Wow. Those things are speedy. I mean, to be fair, I think if I was using anything but KC, it'd be fine. No! I'm hearing a turtle massacre back there, and it upsets me greatly. More ammo. We don't currently need... Good, good. No, my turtles once again. Oh, that was such a bad hit. Such a bad hit. Okay, we have a chest here, but we can't afford it. Let's destroy it, I guess. 
Right, let's just go do the boss now. I don't even know what to use in this situation here. I guess just use the eye with this setup. Like every pallet hits like this, so. It's not actually doing that much, I'll be honest. Maybe I'll do it with this instead. Even this isn't doing like an insanely good job. Ah, that skull just would not leave me alone, would it? Okay, things ain't looking so great right now. You killed more of my turtles, how could you? Yeah, damage isn't that great. I thought this would have like massively upped my DPS, but it's killing him at a normal level. Right. Oh, what? That was such a bad roll. Okay. Well, that brings this run to a grinding halt. I didn't play too well there, did I? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed regardless. A little bit of a flop, I know. But that is the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Oh, I need to get better at this game. I'm just playing an autopilot too much. I say I need to get better at this game. I am good at this game when I actually try. And I thought I was actually trying today, but clearly not. My mind was elsewhere. Either way, we will try and and create a good run at some point soon because I, I, I just i want to try and get to some of the deeper robots levels apparently there's tons of levels i don't know what sort of happens at some of the later levels but i'm sure there's some interesting stuff so yeah either way hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys in the next one